first conceived during World War I, mid-air refueling has become a crucial concept of U.S. air supremacy doctrine. And despite the idea not being thoroughly developed until the Cold War era, being able to extend the ranges of bombers and fighters by a factor of five or more became a significant threat to the Soviet Union, as American warplanes could now reach every corner of their territory. Today, the U.S. has over 700 tanker aircraft, more than double what the rest of the world has combined. And if that weren't enough, the Navy will now revolutionize the United States' already remarkable capabilities by unleashing the first aerial refueling drone. The futuristic-looking Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is designed to continue boosting the range of American aircraft worldwide by deploying from aircraft carriers, intercepting friendly planes, refueling them, and returning to base all while being remotely operated. If the project succeeds, it will not only bolster America's already unmatched air supremacy around the world, but it will also unveil a new age of synchronized manned and unmanned aircraft operations, promising to keep the U.S. ahead of any antagonistic military forces. from stealth strike to refueling. The importance of refueling capabilities for the U.S. military can be traced back to the origins of the MQ-25 Stingray. The project was born in 2012 as the Unmanned Carrier Launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike, or U-Class, initiative. As its name implies, its objective was to develop stealth surveillance and strike drones that could be deployed by American aircraft carriers. Still, a few years after the project was launched, the development was halted as the Navy authorities debated whether the new aircraft should be specialized in strike or reconnaissance capabilities. What's more, while this was taking place, the Pentagon decided to use some of the funds destined for the program to supply the Navy with more F-A-18EF Super Hornets and F-35C jets. The acquisition of such warplanes ultimately paused the proposed strike aircraft program but it also highlighted the need for an urgent refueling solution to expand the operational ranges of the Super Hornets and the F-35s. The decision taken by the Pentagon illustrates some of the priorities of the U.S. military and how refueling capabilities continue to be one of the top concerns for the Department of Defense. Despite unmanned strike aircraft being the undisputed future of combat aviation, it has become crucial that the warplanes are actually capable of reaching their targets. Reassigned with a new objective, the now renamed Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System, or CBARS, project was tasked with designing a refueling drone capable of extending the Super Hornet's range from 450 nautical miles in unrefueled combat radius to beyond 700 nautical miles. Then, in October of 2017, the U.S. Navy formally issued a request for proposal to Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics to create the tanker drone. Design. As the four aircraft manufacturers rushed to develop their designs, Boeing had an ace up its sleeve. The company had previously been developing the U-Class design and continued working on the aircraft's chassis after the program was halted. As such, when the CBAR's request for proposal was issued, they were able to continue the project without starting from scratch. Boeing also made use of its experience with the Phantom Ray Flying Wing and its other unmanned aerial systems as it began to polish its new design, which provided them with a tremendous competitive advantage. Meanwhile, General Atomics submitted its Sea Avenger concept and enlarged version of its Predator Sea Avenger aircraft, while Lockheed Martin offered its Sea Ghost design based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. Then, on October 25, 2017, Northrop Grumman withdrew from the competition deciding that they would have been incapable of executing the program under the terms of the service's proposal request. The U.S. Navy announced Boeing as the contest winner almost a year later and awarded an $805 million contract for four MQ-25A aircraft to be completed by 2024. Boeing's triumphant design 
was powered by a Rolls-Royce AE-307N turbofan engine, which is a variant of the Navy's MQ-4C Triton engine that provides 10,000 pounds force of thrust. Moreover, the aircraft featured a stealthy fuselage shaping, flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar, and V-tail. To solve the issue of limited space aboard a carrier, the Stingray was designed with a folding wing system, similar to the technology used by the 777X that reduces its span from 22.5 meters to just 9.5. Greg Heislop, Boeing's chief engineer, explained their solution during an aircraft presentation in 2021. Quote, Aircraft carriers have space constraints below deck, so with the wings folded, can we move the airplane around in an autonomous fashion and do that in a way that's safe for the people handling the airplane as well as everything around them? They came through that test with flying colors. What it can do. Early tests have shown that the Stingray is surpassing all expectations and the Navy continues to anticipate its deployment by 2024. The MQ-25A is capable of delivering up to 15,000 pounds of fuel up to a distance of over 500 nautical miles. It is specifically designed to refuel the F-A-18 Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, and F-35C fighter jets, and it has proven able to extend their range by a factor of two. The aircraft flight and refueling operations are accomplished using satellite and radar communications to guarantee a reliable and efficient remote performance. And the tanker drone is also equipped with the Navy's traditional catapult launch and recovery systems, allowing it to easily integrate into any American aircraft carrier. The MQ-25 Stingray also features Core Power Electronic Circuit Breaker Units, or ECBU, technology, which offers the operators intelligent control and visibility of the onboard power systems. The first flight test of the MQ-25 took place in April of 2019 and was completed successfully. Two years later, the first refueling test was conducted, with the Stingray providing fuel to an F-A-18F Super Hornet. The mission lasted four and a half hours and was also a complete success. After the encouraging results, the Chinese People's Liberation Army expressed concern, declaring that it increased the resiliency of the American aircraft carriers. Production The MQ-25's manufacturing process has already begun, and it's gaining momentum every day, going so far as Boeing requesting the aid of several contractors to help with the drone's production and keep the 2024 deadline. Astronix was selected to produce core power aircraft power distribution units and exterior lighting systems in February of 2021, while Liebherr Aerospace Lindenburg was chosen to deliver the tailhook actuator for the MQ-25 unmanned aircraft. Additionally, Triumph Group received a contract to produce critical hydraulic system components for the MQ-25 program, and Cubic Corporation's Cubic Mission Solutions is developing the drone's wideband satellite communications modem system and the line-of-sight common data link system. Finally, Frequentis is tasked with producing and providing the IP-based voice communication system for the aircraft, while Rolls-Royce is in charge of manufacturing the AE-307N engines needed for the Stingray's mass production. The U.S. Navy has already assembled an unmanned carrier-launched multi-role squadron, which is tasked with deploying the first four Stingrays ready for operation. The new unit is based at Naval Base Ventura County, and it is expected to begin a complete training cycle once the models are received. An additional three units have already been ordered, and the U.S. Navy is already evaluating the acquisition of the drone in large numbers, expecting a bright future for the innovative aircraft. Thank you for watching our video. If you like the story about this futuristic tanker drone, don't hesitate to click on your screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels, where we explore the most thrilling warfare stories and the machines that change the course of entire wars. Stay tuned.